Today, Paisano News interviews Guadalupe Hall residents. Let's see what they have to say about the brand new dormitory. I'm friends with a lot of people. Most of my friends are in this hall, so I guess that could connect with the community aspect of it. Not really. I mean, I do go out of my dorm, but I mean, I don't really talk to nobody like that. Yeah. Um, we have like group chats, so we're kind of close. I like, I like Guadalupe, because like in Guadalupe, that's when I, I met like most of my friends. Like it's easy to like meet people in this hall because like of the lounge area, the common area at night, like everyone comes to like talk together, watch t t TV together. And like, that's where everyone meet each other. I think it's really nice to like live here because like everyone is so friendly here. And yeah, it's like a little community and a little family. So we have, we have like movie nights and game nights and stuff. Like we're we're pretty tight knit. It's only been two weeks, but we're pretty close already. So I that's why I like it here. At first, the uh, thought of a of a bathroom pod like being shared with other people kind of like mm, it threw me off a little bit. But now that I'm here, like it's honestly not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. And I really enjoy these like common areas. We get to come, study, congregate. So I've I've liked it. For me, it's particularly cold. I'm always cold in this hall. I don't really like that. Yeah. <laughs> and other than that, um, I also don't personally like that the restrooms in this hall are communal, but it is what it is. Oh my God, I hate sharing a bathroom. At first, I wasn't really sure about it, but I, I've come around to it. You know, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I really liked that they had um, actual doors that lock because I've been to colleges where it's just like a curtain for the shower and stuff. And it's just weird sharing about you in like the opposite gender because like you never know what to expect and it's just different from having your own bathroom at home to like sharing it with like 20, 10 people. It's, it's just different. For the most part, it's not, it's not that bad, but at the same time I feel like I w would rather have a bathroom attached to the room than to go out just to use the restroom. And sometimes people, you know, don't have the best hygiene. So. Well, this year I have to stay here. So unless I could fill out a room request change, then I'd probably do that. But next year, I definitely want to live in an apartment off campus. Um, yeah, I'll probably go off campus apartment next next year. Um, definitely moving. Yeah, <laughs> definitely um, moving. This was a good experience, <laughs> but um, I either want to go to like an off campus apartment or For my first year, I'm glad I'm living here because it's easier to make friends and like meet people who's like going through and like trying to like um, trying to like um, understand college and like you meet people with common interests. Everyone is scared. Everyone is confused. And it's like at that time, that's where you meet like your friends. But I feel like if I lived in an apartment, I wouldn't know the people I know, and like I won't meet my friends now. So I'm actually glad I lived like in this like dorm for my first year. My second year, maybe I'll live like in an apartment. But as a first year student, I'm glad I lived in like the resident this residence hall because it's very nice to meet new people. I mean, I don't like I don't like that feeling because you don't want to you don't want to go anywhere that you feel unsafe. And if I was here and I heard about that, or like to say I was I couldn't come out of my dorm, like I'd feel unsafe. Um, I mean, it does kind of worry me, but I mean, I always keep my door locked. It locks by itself anyway, so I think I should be okay. When I heard about it, I was like a little shook up, but I wasn't in the building when it happened. I heard from other people that it like what. Did the residence hall or like UTSA notify you that that happened at all? Mm. Do you think they should 
Probably, like, maybe a little email or something. I mean, I'd like to know next time, but, I mean, there's, like, locks on all the doors. Um, there's locks on the bathroom and, like, on my room, so I guess it would just be, like, out here. Just see someone wandering around. Yeah. Yes, they should have so texted us. Doors because, I mean, you know, God forbid, but, like, if you roam in the halls while somebody you don't know is here, who's mm -hmm. not supposed to be here, anything could happen. I feel like, safety-wise, I think they need to still work on, like, the safety and, like, program it so that people who like with the ID you can only get in with an ID but other than that I feel like the police and everyone else is doing their best to keep everyone safe and you just have to like be cautious of like where you're going where you're going and who you're going with and like if you see something strange like no to like report it or talk about it yeah. thanks for watching click our logo to subscribe or click the videos for more from the Paisano leave a comment letting us know your thoughts and what you'd like to see us cover next